What's going on guys, it's Fake and Snoove, and we are only 26 days away from Battlefield 4. Now in today's video, we want to talk about the two different game modes on the map uh, that is available in the beta, and specifically how they play out, what our feelings are about them, and which one we prefer. So Snoove, I think I'll start it off by asking, which one have you played more of? I have been playing Domination a lot more than I have been playing Conquest on the Siege of Shanghai. And the reason for that is because I've never been a fan of the overly large maps in Battlefield 3. Um, which is pretty much everything from Armored Kill as well as Endgame. And, well, for the most part the vanilla maps are all, you know, not overly huge. I mean, Caspian Border Conquest can be a little touch and go on PC when you're playing Conquest Large. But, for the most part, it's doable. And I feel like the Siege of Shanghai, even with 64 players, it's just too big and too spread out, and it's a little too bit uh, slow-paced for my personal taste. So, I really want to get a good feel for the gun gameplay, uh, which is a little bit different, at least to the point that I'm not used to it yet compared to Battlefield 3. So, I've been spending almost all of my time on Domination to just focus on the gunplay. The vehicle gameplay, from what I've noticed on Conquest, has not changed. There's nothing different about it. The tanks, or sorry, not the tanks, the choppers are a little bit heavier, so they don't have quite the finesse that they did in Battlefield 3, but it's such a minute difference that I, I don't need to put any practice in. Getting used to the gunplay is very, very important, so that's where I'm putting all my time in. Yeah, you know, one of the things I noticed, I think Inception was saying on Twitter that it's like everyone's gone back into idiot noob mode or something like that. I forget the exact phrases that he used. And what he basically means is people aren't throwing ammo packs. People have forgotten how to spawn on each other. People have forgotten how to team up to take down vehicles and stuff like that. And overall, it's making Conquest on the Siege of Shanghai play really oddly. It, it's like... This weird bit of, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to, to describe it. It's like, like a tank rolls up on B. I can't tell you how many times I've done this. Tank rolls up on B, caps B, and then it drives away, and then I run up on B and I cap B, and then the tank notices that I took B, and I run away and hide from the tank, and it, the tank comes back and caps B. It's like this stuff just keeps happening and nobody's like influencing it. It's like this big wide open mess of of not real intense action that's going on when we're playing Conquest. Um, so, same with me, I played more Domination and I'm starting to prefer Domination a little bit more, at least until everybody gets broken in and we start to see what this game uh, really looks like in terms of upgrades and equipment and all that stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really like the map layout of Domination very much because of the stupid roofs, but that's a that's something we've already talked about, and that's like sort of a story for another day. Yeah, and you know it's what Ryan said or Inception. It's he's got a good point. I think it kind of goes hand in hand with what I had said. It is right now. It does feel like everyone's gone back to complete noob mode, and I think it's because the uh, mechanics of the gunplay have changed enough that people are out of their element, and that's all they're focused on, and they're way too focused on trying to figure out what they need to do to be uh, as competent in Battlefield 4 as they were in Battlefield 3, that, like, you just forget, oh yeah, shit, I should probably throw down some ammo or at some point here for my teammates, or maybe take out that tank over there that's just destroying us. And think about, like, how much... It's, it's actually kind of fun to think about how much of a team effort it is to take out these different objectives, whether it's destroying enemy armor or taking a flag. And how often can you do that without getting uh, assistance from an engineer or revived from a medic? Like, no, like that's where the plays come from, is these abilities to bring your team back to life and stuff. And people, for the most part, don't even have the paddles yet, so that's not happening. You move in with your squad of four people, you try to take out the squad of four or five people that are there, and whoever dies is dead, and we're left with one person left alive, you know, slowly ticking away the conquest flag. Right. So it, it's it's lowered the pace of the game. So right now, with, with people out of their element, people concerned with what's going on for themselves as opposed to winning, uh, it makes domination much more fun because it's more like Team Deathmatch, where normally all you got to do is worry about yourself. Yeah, exactly. So... 
I think that's pretty much all we have to say right now. Uh, as as the game stands, Domination is the faster, more intense game. Uh, obviously, Conquest has the armor in it, so if that's what you're interested in, head over there. But until more people get in the beta and people start playing more and unlocking more, it's kind of at a this-is-how-it-is moment. And uh, we'd love to know what you guys think. Let us know down below what game mode you've played more, whether it's Conquest or Domination. And... Uh, if you want to leave a reason why, that'd be great. But other than that, we just wanted to let you guys know that there are only 26 days until the release of Battlefield 4, and that we'll see you in tomorrow's video. For those that are fans of the Battlefield Friends show, as well as other shows by Hank and Jed and Johnny Esco, you should head on over to their store and check out all of the awesome merchandise they have to offer. Hell, you can even have the Noob and Gang sing Happy Birthday to a Friend. It's all in the store, so head on over to take a look, or someone's going to throw ammo at your face.